what's up guys this is a box truck this is the new uh, tiny house on wheels the new uh, mobile livable vehicle off-grid living uh, today we're gonna be replacing my radio because that's the first thing we're gonna do so I can have a nice touchscreen radio with Apple CarPlay and uh, GPS and uh, yeah connect my phone via Bluetooth It'll be all good so yeah first steps to the doghouse let's get to it so these dog houses are just held on by uh, four little here I'll show you so we got one clip, another clip, three, and number four is right in there. And then this whole unit called the dog house will be removed. And yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> and so to get be able to get to this radio, first thing you're gonna wanna do is remove your OBD2 sensor. You can't see that right there. You got some two Torx head on each side. One's right there as well. We're gonna take that OBD2 sensor out and then this panel will be able to be removed. Once we do that, we'll be able to come in here and remove this whole dash just be careful whenever you pull this section off, there are wires behind there. So when you pull, just make sure you don't, you know, pull the wires out because that'd be a bad day for everybody. You know, I use a little stubby M12 Milwaukee impact here to get these two little Torx bits off. One thing I love about the Milwaukee tools is you can dial down the torque settings. So I'm going with setting one just so I don't mess up any, uh, any threads or anything like that. And then we've got some of these these little, these little uh, pry bar guys for getting the dash kit out, doing stuff like that, making sure you don't mess up any of the fittings. Then my trusty old bit kit right there. Let's pull this OBD2 sensor out with the uh, good old faithful Milwaukee tools. Milwaukee, if you want to sponsor me, all I use are Milwaukee tools. Um, so yeah, let's get started, guys. So that OBD2 sensor is going to be a, you cannot see that, but that is a T20 Torx bit. There's your under under the steering wheel piece of dash unit. I uh, had a uh, coworker of mine come over and help me uh, take this middle dash panel off. Because as you can see, it does stretch the entirety of the front. It's basically this whole black shroud that runs all the way. It's not all the way to, to the to the windshield. It's just this front section, but it comes all the way down and you know a good three feet long of dash work. So you just kind of cut it as we said before. Pry slowly, pry carefully. Next up, we are going to disconnect all of the little electrical, every little electrical connection that is a part of this dash unit, excuse me. We are, you know, gonna try and use some flatheads. If not, we got a little pick set right here. Just uh, be aware, guys, remember this. Before you do electrical work, always make sure disconnect the negative battery terminal so that you don't electrocute yourself because that won't be fun but uh yeah guys i'll disconnect that guy and then we'll get started on doing some electrical disconnection i'll see y'all in the cab As you can see, we currently have this dash unit halfway removed. We were able to get to the radio, just four bolts. There's two right on this side, two on that side, and uh, you can move the old radio. Now, sadly, when I bought my wiring harness off of Amazon, they did not give me what I expected. I wanted the one that came basically double-ended like this, and uh, now I've got 
some soldering to do. So, uh, yeah. Let's get to soldering, I guess. Alrighty, guys. So, uh, yeah, like I said before, I bought the one that you had to solder. So, if you want to save yourself about like an hour, hour and a half of soldering, then uh, definitely buy the one that is already done. We got the uh, yellow for the reverse camera. We got this, hold on. We got a microphone for any voice controls, so we got that. Uh, we're currently just gonna let this hang. See, I had to take these back two tabs off on each side with a Dremel. And uh, yeah, put the face frame on there and everything looks beautiful. After a lot of work and a little bit of cussing, looks like you get something done. Let's go ahead and get that thing installed into this mess. By the way, thanks my Wallpee for holding up my, uh, my dash. <laughs> y'all look great, I love y'all. guys so we've got the truck sitting here sorry I didn't really get any little bit of that last bit of footage it was a two-man team if I can unlock my own truck it was a two-man team but just wiggling the dash back in and all that but there you go guys that is the beginning of the new mobile tiny house on wheels that is the first step and uh, yeah, there will be plenty, plenty more to come of this beautiful new rig. Stay tuned guys, can't wait to show you all the rest. Have a good one.